and I'm looking at the leftmost and rightmost um, poles with the skulls on them to get the central alignment for the pit. It's almost there. Step over a little bit. That will let me just turn it slightly. That way when we upgrade it, it will stay within the bounds of the platform. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Conan Exiles for Beginners with Gazbeard and a little bit of advanced building about to happen. I've created this artisan's table out here because it only uses 40 wood. It's the cheapest way to get a storage area. I've pre-made a bunch of materials and harvested in a load of other materials that I think we're going to need. I've mounted it on a foundation just to stop any of the critters uh, stumbling into it. And the very first thing we're going to have to do is climb up there and remove one of those stone fences. So, so just do that. Alright, now we've got between these two barbette things, we've got nine stone fences. So one, two, three, four, five. This should be the middle one. Let's just check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so this one we need to remove. And then we need to go da back down there. And... What we're going to do... Oh, and that bloody torch is going to get in the way. And it's not going to let me focus on it. Which means I may have to move that simple palisade for now. I'll just pick it up. Pick this fence up for now. Actually, it's not that torch, is it? Oops. Stop bumping into the spikes, you take damage, you idiot. Cover your bum. And it won't let me. Okay. <laughs> Try and do it from above. Can we get a hold of that torch? Yes, we can. Excellent. Uh, we're probably going to take damage if we go down there, but let's just try this. Yeah. Damn it. Never mind. It got us where we wanted to be right now. I've got some pieces already on my ready bar. I just need to get in a position that will let me verify I'm putting them in the right way. And I think number five goes up there first. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. No, it's not going to let me. Rats. I may have to knock out that fence foundation there it's not gonna again it's not gonna let me yeah so we'll try doing it from up here see if we can get it from up here I think number five has to go down first no right so it's not gonna let me in that case we'll have to take out that fence foundation now it should let me. Not down, down. Oh, you know what this means. More damage. Best we eat a steak. Take a drink. And I think to get this to work, I'm going to have to put in a sandstone pillar. So if I just swap them over for there, and where are we at? There, right, so right, we may have to put it in there, just so that we're off to the side. That might give me the height I need. Come on, climb up. Get on it. 
There we are. Right, so we'll try with number six first then, this time. It won't let me. Oh, this is a pain. Okay, let's try putting the stairs in first. Now it's going to let me put the stairs in. That's good. So we put them in there. And number five should, in theory, be the next one. No. Um, can we get number six under there on the other side? Nope. Okay. Um, let's try putting that sandstone, uh, sorry, that thatch sloped roof in underneath in a reversed status. Like that. It will let me do that. Will it now let me do it? Or is it going to insist I put a roofing piece in there? I think it's going to insist I put a roofing piece in there, so... Let's, I've got a few here. Number four. Put it in like that. Number five should now go on. There it does. Yeah. Number six will go on the other side. So, let me just jump down without killing myself. There we are. Number six will now go on that side. That's it. And then I've got the other two inverse pieces set here. And put the... Ah, oh, and that's the wrong way around. Oh, crap. So now I've got to make another one of those. Hopefully I've got enough materials on me. Um, should be that one. So, it must be number six that goes on there then. It is. And number five should go up there. That's not going to... Let's just demolish that pillar. Give us a bit of space to work with. So number five should no, now go in there. It's not letting me. Yes, it is. That's it in place. There we are. Right. Okay, so that's that done. What we can now do is take a ceiling piece out like that. Can we get a second one under there? Yep, we can. Then I can put the um, palisade and the fence back. When you came out of there, you are going to go back in there. Overlapping with another object or terrain. Behave yourself. Ah, there we go. That's it. Put the fence in. Stops the shale bracks from bumping onto it and getting stroppy. Right, so that's getting to where we want it. So I'm going to put those pillars in there. I'm going to put those foundations in there. I'll just move that stone up there out of the way. Number five goes there. Now what I'm then going to... well... Hmm, no. I'm going to do it with number six. And it won't let me. I wanted it to 
Okay, we're going to have to do it this way. Put it there. Put number six under there. See, it will go anywhere except touching that pillar. Which is what I want, which is what I need it to do. I need it to touch that pillar. And I need it to be square to that pillar. It's not snapping into place, which is a problem. So if we try and take it this way, see that's where it wants to be. That's where it's trying to go. If we try lowering it down. Does that fit? Is it snapping on there? I don't know. But we've now got to take that one out. Like that. Put that one onto there. And just climb up there. I mean, it's not snapped into place, look. Placement is wrong. Damn it. I'm going to have to take that one out as well. And what we may have to do is take that out and... That'll go on top, but it won't go underneath. Why won't it go underneath? <sighs> we may have to move a couple of found a couple of these again to try and bring it out from the wall. Okay, pick that up. Pick that up. Pick that up. Yeah, we'll need to pick that one up as well. And then put number four from there, from there, and I don't, is that one out past the fence? It's not quite past the fence, is it? Never mind, it might do the job. Yeah, now it snaps into place. So, we need to take that one down. And... Take that one down. Let them get back into place. Um, then we need to put these back here. Like that. And... If we go around that side first, put this one into place here. I don't know if we can get that one into place from here. Ouch, we're taking a lot of damage off that spike, look. And we need to eat and probably drink recover that health while we're doing that we can make another couple of pillars Brushing that spike momentarily almost killed us. <coughs> and we're going to be using up pretty much all of our stakes just to recover that health. When you're working with Palisades, you've got to be so careful. They are deadly. Why won't that go into place?
But before we do that, what I need to do... Oh, get off the bench. Just stand on the brick. Is if I take these and split them down, we need... Uh, I think we're going to need eight. Oops, that's what I want. Put them into there. In actual fact, I'm thinking... We could actually make this the face of the platform that I'm trying to build. In which case, we're not going to need them two ceilings up there. But what we are going to need is to remove this fence, well, the next couple of fences. Same on this side. And we are very close to them for getting facings onto the foundations, but never mind. Um, we'll swap them over for now. So that's number six. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're overweight for some reason. don't understand why we're overweight, but it is what it is. Um, drop that stone into there for now. Drop that into there for now. Um, if we split that twice. Do that. 123%. Why are we 123%? Put that torch up there. Um, we'll put those ceiling pieces there for now. We'll put them down there. Uh, we're not going to need those pillars. We will need one of those though. Like that. We don't have a spare slot in here to put those pillars in there. Never mind. It's the way life works. So, number four. Um. Get it on that side, okay. We'll get it on there eventually. Um, right, might be easier to do this from the top. Right, now we want the foundations. It. Number five goes on there. Of course, it's deciding not to play now. Ah, it wants one down the bottom, that's why. No, we want it on top. Come on. Ah. 
No, on top. Yeah, we'll get it back in a minute. Right. Um, we don't need these foundations. Ah, uh, these ceilings. What we can do now is get rid of that staircase. Like that. So now we've got a platform, the start of a platform five long. We need to get it four wide. Or ideally, I'd like to make it five by five, but I don't want to interfere with that shaleback nest. Um, right. Let's jump down here. Let's try not to spike ourselves. Make sure we're not taking any damage. Number five. Will it go? Now it goes. Now it's happy to go. And that looks like we've got all of it. Good. Uh, right, so now... We want to come out by five. So number four, that's two. Ah, right. We've got this problem that if you're standing where you want to place one, doesn't matter how much you move back, you won't be able to place it there. See, now it's it's complaining, it's glitched, so we'll have to do it by doing rows. a 5 by 5 platform. Wait, get up. And move that wood and stone that we recovered from knocking down those ceiling pieces there. We split that. Split it again. Split it again. That should be enough. Yeah. Oh. Helps if I put them on the ready bar, doesn't it? we need to check is do we need any underneath yep. have we got any floating foundations as I call them it looks like the whole of the front row is actually floating so number four I don't know Yeah, now I don't know if any of these side ones are floating. Doesn't look like they are. It's refusing to go in. We'll just check on the other side. tell by looking at them. Right, so now we get the the next layer put on. to me. 
Okay, we'll do the outer edges first then. Let's just climb up out of the way and it might play. And it's just being a pain in the backside. What we need to do is walk away a bit and come back. Come on. In you get. Push it in. Come on. Now, it's deciding to be an absolute pain in the bum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch building component. And we'll get those two faces on. And then we'll come back to that. See, now it goes in. Done. Right, so we can drop off those two foundations. Get up. Stop being an idiot. Drop off those two foundations. We don't need any more of those. We do need about half of those. Uh, we'll take the even number because it's more likely to be the quantity that we want. And in fact, we're going to be better doing this at ground level. If you missed the earlier video where I was putting these stone foundations as facings on the foundation blocks, the reason for it is very simple, and uh, that is to do with um, strength in defense. You double the strength of the foundation piece when you do this, or you double the hit points of the foundation piece. So that if you're getting attacked, oh, come on, no, it's going to be one of those ones. Um, it takes your enemy longer to take the wall down. Right, okay. We're going to have to do it in layers rather than columns. Sometimes when you're doing this, it will let you put them in columns. Sometimes it insists on layers, like this one is doing. So if we get around, face straight onto it, will it let us not step back a bit? It's not letting us do it, we need to get more of them anyway. So we've just got that one wall to do. We need a total of 10. We've already got two, so we need eight. There's nine. Ten. them on there. I'll get round here into the correct position first. See, and now it'll let us do it. And it'll even let us do it in columns. our foundation block for our first altar 
made and in place. Um, I'll get up. Up. Right, so our first altar is going to be the Pit of Yog, which is there. This is the religion that we learned from the guy uh, across the river. So, let's have a look. Right. Get rid of that. Um, where's it gone? Pit of Yog. Where'd you go? There it is. 360 stone, 160 wood, 12 twine, 30 bones. And my guy's getting thirsty, so we'll give him a drink. He's getting hungry, we'll give him a bite to eat. So 360 stone. Three hundred and sixty-six. Don't think we need those twigs. Um, we'll keep hold of those fences because they've got to go back into place. Um, I've forgotten how, what the quantities were. Um, that's the three sixty stone. One hundred and sixty wood. Twelve twine. Thirty bones. There's a hundred. If we split that, uh, it's actually 166 wood. Um, more twine than we need, and we need to pick up them bones. Heavily over encumbered at the moment. There we go. Right, so let's make the pit of yog. It doesn't take long. There we are. So the best position place we can stand to position this is up here. Now if I wasn't rushing this for a video I would have made that an octagonal base um, to keep more in line with the design of the pit and we want to rotate that so that the stairs are facing us. Um, and I'm looking at the leftmost and rightmost um, poles with the skulls on them to get the central alignment for the pit. It's almost there. Step over a little bit. That'll let me just turn it slightly. That way when we upgrade it, it'll stay within the bounds of the platform. So there we are. Yeah, that's... Could have done with going slightly to the back. But other than that, I'm happy with it. Right, so that's that first one on. Now we need to put these fences back down. So... Put them into there. And we'll just... Do them that away. And what we can probably do, I would have thought, nah, 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 nah. We'll do it the proper way. Uh, number four. Get it turned over there. Get it pushed into there. That's it. That's that one. Yeah. Right, so... 
We've got the stairs here to come down to the pit. And the pit of yog itself is there. Now what the pit of yog lets me do if I open it, I've gained a level by worshipping in the pit. Venerate the gods. So let me make this yog cleaver from five sticks and thirty bones. That'll if I use that to harvest the flesh off humans that I've killed, that produces a stake like piece with this glow around it. When I then cook them in the pit of yog, um, it creates this purified flesh, um, edible. So I think it's sanctified flesh when it's raw, purified flesh when it's cooked, and these are very high um, health returning items. They return about three to four times the amount of health that you get off a standard steak, and they also last a lot longer before becoming putrid flesh. And as the NPCs and the, um, the, the beasts can't climb vertical walls, they're not going to be climbing up here and using that ladder to get to us. So that's the first one done. I need to do the second one across there, which will be the altar of Amir. And I'll do that offline. I'll let you see that in the next video. Any questions? Leave them down below in the comments section. Leave your comments and I'll answer them when I, as soon as I can, which is usually within an hour or so. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Give it a like. Subscribe to the channel, and as always from me, it's not goodbye, it's bye for now.